Hello, welcome to the studio. This week I am preparing for an event, a print fair in London. So I just thought I'd show you uh, how I float mount a lot of my prints onto mount board and then put them into frames as well. So um, I like to show the edges of my work. So um, I've developed this way of doing things um, that I can show the edges and make things look really good when they go into a frame. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel. You can also see lots more of my work and any workshops I'm doing at ruthander.co.uk or you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at ruthanderprints. So this is what I do when I've got lots of things that I need to um, mount up uh, and maybe frame, maybe wrap just as an unframed piece. Um, so this is the piece I've actually cropped it down. I've, cut, I've left it with deckled edges, so ripped edges basically. And I like to show the edges of my work. So um, what I do is I, what's called float mount things onto card. Um, there is actually another video um, about this where I show you how I do it with transparent pieces of art, tissue paper. So have a look through uh, the catalogue of videos. But this paper is actually etching paper. So I printed onto etching paper. Um, so it's actually quite thick. It's quite thick stuff, quite substantial. So what I use in this case is um, this tape here. Now I get this from my uh, local framers. I just ask them for a roll of it and I'm sure you can get it online as well. Basically um, neutral white tape. So it's uh, acid free. I think it's pH balanced, all that kind of stuff. And essentially you don't, it won't go yellow and it won't affect your paper. And what I do is I just cut two pieces. I've got one sticky side up and one sticky side down. And I just put a little bit in each corner. And in fact, in this case, because it's such a small piece of art, that one's a bit big actually. Um, oh, put it that way. Um, you really don't need very much of it. Uh, and I just put it in each corner and that should be sufficient to hold it in place. There. So I want um just gonna stick that one there. Okay. So we tried to minimize the amount of sticky bit that's actually on the paper. Obviously you're gonna have to have some, but we try and minimize that. Um and then all I do is I flip it over and I press it onto my mount board. So this is I buy this in bulk really from my local framers um, and it's archival conservation quality, it's slightly off-white and I just cut it down to the size I want. And then I, what I do is I ask the framer to make a window mount as well. So I've had the framer cut this, you could do it yourself, um, I just find that they are a lot better at doing it than I am. Um, and then that can just sit over the top like that. So the way again I do that is again, I use this tape here. Um, and what I do is I just, this is sticky side up. I'm just gonna place my piece or my, my mount board on there. Get the window mount exactly where I want it. And this can sometimes be the tricky bit. Oop, yeah, it doesn't always stick. Just, there we go. So I'm just pressing along the bottom there. And then we can flip it over and just make sure that all of the sides are sealed. So especially if this is going in a frame, you. It, you want to try and seal sort of as much air away from the piece as possible. And when it's being wrapped as well, actually, if it's gonna, you want to minimize the amount of air that's getting to the actual piece itself. And then I have a ready-made frame here. This one, um, this piece thankfully fits into a standard sized frame, which is brilliant. So I'm just going to take out the fittings, the back fittings on this one here. 
Um, this has been used before, and I've taken the piece out. So I'm just going to take the fittings off. And I just use a knife um, to ease the tabs up. So I often ask a framer, but even if I'm doing, having a bespoke frame made, to have these tabs in the back rather than the staples that they sometimes put in. And that's because if I want to change what's in the frame, I can do that really easily and just lift, lift out whatever's in there and put something new in. Okay, so one tip that was given to me by a framer, which often works quite well, is keeping the backing of the frame and the glass together and then sliding in your piece of artwork between the two. And the idea is that this minimizes dust getting in. And as if you've ever done this before, you will know that um, there's always, always, always one piece of dust that gets in between the glass and the picture frame. And in fact, there's one here I can see. I'm just gonna try and get that out. There we go. Um, so if you can minimize that in any way, that is brilliant. Okay, so I've got my sandwich of glass and picture and backing here, and I'm just gonna place that back into the frame now. So sometimes this needs a bit of a sugar, as I call it. Just need to ease it down past the tabs. There we go. And before I put the tabs down, I'm just going to hold it all together and check that there isn't any dust in there. And there is a little bit, so I'm just going to take that out and put it back in again. Okay, so I've just checked that again. We've got no dust this time, which is great. And I'm just going to put the tabs down again, just with the knife. You can just do this with your fingers if you've got strong, strong fingers and nails. It's just that um, there is the slight danger that it, they will um, go between your fingernail and your finger, which you really don't want. So I tend to use a knife and it's quite good for just really pushing them flat as well. Okay, so that's secure in there now, and I'm just going to tape the back to seal it in. So the next thing I do is, um, again, I get this um, framing tape from my local framers. I just get a roll of it. And I just, just sealing each side of it just like so. And then to seal the corners, I just take a piece of tape and pop it in the corner and I just kind of cut along the edge of the frame. And there we go, that seals the corner. All that remains now is to put the fittings back onto the back, which I will do in a moment. And we're good to go.